starting off, let's look at the plurality winner. So that's just simply you look at the candidates and see who has the number of first place votes. So A with 14 first place votes, which in this case is like kind of quite a bit less than 50%, right? So now let's go through um, an instant runoff voting scenario here. And well, let's do it like this. We'll have A, B, C, D, and then number of first place votes. So this will be round one. So let's see, A has 14 first place votes in round one, and B has four first place votes in round one, and then C has how many? 11. Yep, 11, and then D has eight. Cool. So that means after the first round, who is thrown out? So yes, we remove uh, this person. Now let's look at round number two. So this is number first place votes again. So A, B, C, D. Okay, so we've removed B. So that means we need to go to the place where B was first right? And reallocate these second place votes to B to, sorry, these pl these votes for D that were second place to first place, right? So that makes D first place in 12 ballots, right? Yeah. So we've got B is first, sorry, D is first in 12. Oh, and I guess I should have removed B. So let's see, we've got C and D. Okay. So D is first in 12 because of the removal of B. But then A and C have the same numbers of first place votes as they had before. So we've got 14 and 11. So that means in this round, we remove candidate C. And then we move on to the last round. And so that's gonna be round number three. And that's just between A and D. Okay, so let's be careful here. How many first place votes does A have now? Still 14? Yeah. Okay, so 14 and let's see why that's the case. Oh, well, check it out. That's because in all of the other ballots, A was last place, right? Then how many first place votes does D have? So they're gonna have all the rest of them, right? Which is how many? 23. So 23, so that means D wins, so D wins. Okay, nice. 